Slavery in the United States was the legal institution of human chattel slavery that existed in the United States of America in the 18th and 19th centuries after it gained independence and before the end of the American Civil War. Slavery had been practiced in British North America from early colonial days, and was recognized in all the 13 colonies at the time of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Historically, the status of slave had become a caste associated with African ancestry, contributing to a system and legacy in which race played an influential role. At the time the United States Constitution was ratified, a relatively small number of free persons of color were among its voting citizens. After the Revolutionary War, abolitionist laws and sentiment gradually spread in the northern states, in addition, as most of these states had a higher proportion of free labor, they abolished slavery by the end of the 18th century, some with gradual systems that did not free the last slave until the late 1820s. But the rapid expansion of the cotton industry from 1800 in the Deep South after invention of the cotton gin led to the southern states to depend on slavery as integral to their economy. They attempted to extend it as an institution into the new western territories, believing that slavery had to expand, or it would die. They dreamed of annexing Cuba as a slave, plantation-based territory. The importation of slaves was prohibited in 1808, although illegal importation, smuggling, was not unusual. Domestic slave trading, however, continued at a rapid pace driven by demand from the growth of cotton plantations in the Deep South. More than one million slaves were sold from the Upper South, which had a surplus of labor, and taken to the Deep South in a forced migration, splitting up many families. New communities of African American culture were developed in the Deep South, and the total slave population in the South eventually reached four million before liberation.